Hey guys, Ryan here with Fluid Focus. Uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, coil springs, um, preload, and you know just spring rates in general. Um, popularity of coil shocks these days, they're widely popular and we get a lot of questions on what rates to run, how much preload, etc. Um, so hopefully uh, this video will help explain a little bit of that. A lot of manufacturers recommend running you know, various amounts of preload. If you have to run lots of preload, um, I know one manufacturer recommends up to about five mil of preload. Uh, the problem there is if you run so much preload, your spring is bound. There's a lot of tension there and this, the small bump feel, uh, the harsh square edge feel, um, it just feels harsh. It's not plush and you bought a coil shock to have a plush feeling ride. Um, also, if you have to run so much preload, Generally, your spring is too soft and you don't have enough bottom support and um, you know, it'll just blow through your travel. Ideally, you don't run much preload. Uh, that frees up the small bump, it frees up the harsh, uh, you know, the rock edges, and then it also allows you to have all the support you need for the bottom out stroke. Uh, this is why we've partnered and decided to, to distribute Super Alloy Racing Springs. SAR makes a very high quality spring that's true to their rate. Uh, that means that if you buy a spring that say is a 500 pound spring, you put it on the dyno, it's gonna rate very close to that 500 pound spring and allow you to run zero preload and get you the best initial small bump feel and all the bottom out support that you need. The great thing about the SAR springs is uh, they come with spacers so you can run them on any manufacturer shock. So here we've rated Cane Creek Spring, Super Alley Racing, Olean's uh, Push Hypercoil, and Fox SLS. The Cane Creek Spring was supposed to be a 650 pound spring. It ended up dynoing uh, 603 pound. Um, so that one you're gonna have to run some preload. Uh, the SAR Spring uh, it was supposed to be a 600 and it rated 601. So right on the money, you can run zero preload in that spring. Uh, Olean's, here we have a 548 pound spring, dynoed at uh, 524. The, the push spring, uh, 400, dynoed at 395. So right, right there, right on the money. And the Fox SLS, it was supposed to be a 350 and it came out to be a, a 320. Um, the ones that did not rate uh, their true rate, not a bad spring, but it just shows uh, the, the widely in inconsistent uh, spring manufacturing processes. Um, one way to tune your, your suspension is to get the proper spring rate. Uh, you could be uh, chasing something um, it, that's not actually within the shock, but it, it's the spring and the preload and the, getting the correct spring on your shock is very important. In conclusion, spring rate is how you pick the proper spring for your weight. Um, if running preload can make up for inconsistencies in that spring, uh, ideally you run as little preload as possible. If you have any questions on what spring should you run, how much preload should you run, um, please reach out. We're more than happy to help walk you through the calculations for your bike, your desired sag, and your rider weight. Um, and if you, you find yourself running tons of preload, you might be in the market for a new spring. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions about any suspension needs, please feel free to contact us and we'll do our best to help you out.